Hi everyone, thanks for clicking to watch. I'm going to be showing you how to add end screens and in video cards from your mobile phone using the Android phone and the Apple phone. Starting with the Android phone, you're gonna to go to your home screen, swipe up, go to the browser, the internet browser, not the YouTube app. Make sure it's the internet browser. Sign in with your YouTube account. Once you enter, you know, www.youtube.com, you sign in. This was so difficult to type while recording, but it's very important to make sure you are doing this in the internet browser. Once you're signed in, it takes you to your channel page. Now you want to select the three horizontal bar in the lower right corner and select desktop version. Once you do that, it's going to load and you're going to select your picture in the corner in the top right corner and select YouTube Studio and then it opens up and it brings you to the studio. Go to the left side on the top, you select the video section from your dashboard, select videos and all your videos will, all the list of your videos will show up. And once you set that, see that, now you select one of any of those videos that you know you may not have an end card for, select it by clicking the actual, actual picture, go back towards the right hand side and you're going to see end cards, end screens, and cards. The top part is the cards. Those are the in-video cards. And the bottom is the end screen. Once you select that, it takes you to a different page. This is where you have to be careful. If it takes you to the YouTube Studio app, close that uh, Studio app and go right back to the browser. That's what I'm doing here. So once I went back to the browser, it still loaded up and opened up the end screen section. To, for me to add my end screen. Once you are in the end screen tab, you want to select add element. Once you open add element, it, it gives you the option to pick either any kind of videos you want to add. You can add up to two videos. Once you select that, you can choose either a video or a playlist. Once you select that, it will automatically add it onto your screen. If you go see to the right, to the top uh, left corner, you see preview and also to the top right corner, you see save. Make sure you always save everything you were, what you do. So I'm going to click the preview so you get to see my end screen right there. And right here, I'm just showing you the options of different templates that you could use. These are several different types of templates you could add to your video. I just like to add them individually and move it around on the screen itself. There's also option to import from your video if you had already created one from your video. And these are just options. Make sure you always save your work when you are done. Now I'm going to move to the Apple version and it's very much similar to how we just did it on Android. You just have to stay in the browser, the internet browser, not the YouTube app. That's the most important thing. Okay, the only slight difference with the Apple phone is you simply open your YouTube app, you click on your picture, it takes you to the menu, you go down to help and feedback, select that, type in add end screen in the description section, and then you select it and you go down to videos page. It opens it up in either Google or your Safari. And you tap the three dots on the bottom, slide up and request desktop site. It takes you to the desktop site and you simply repeat the same thing that I just showed you the Android phone. This one, I'm going to be showing you how to add info cards or in video cards. You select the picture, I mean, not the picture, the video, yeah, the video, and then you select cards. Once it opens it up to another page, you go to add card. Keep in mind, you can only add cards, I believe after a minute or 30 seconds or so. I usually do two minutes in. So you just select whatever videos you want to add in your video cards. It automatically saves, so you don't have to do any saving for that part. And then I'm going right back in to add the end screens to this video and doing the same steps I did in the beginning from the Android phone. So that's it. I hope this video helps somebody out there that creates content strictly from their mobile phone. And if it does, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and share it to any of your peers that might 
need this thank you again so much for watching to the end i will see you on my next video don't forget to be thankful bye bye